Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to know what in the world of Wakanda is going on here, okay? Now, initially, I wasn't even going to do this video because I am so tired of this damn topic, okay? But since Michael B. Jordan won't have a tall glass to shut the fuck up, and he keeps feeling like he has to address every situation concerning him, I'm ready to talk about this topic. So now what's going on is that basically black Twitter, well, certain females on black Twitter, I'm not going to say the whole black Twitter, they're trying to throw a cancel Michael B. Jordan party. They're saying that Michael B. Jordan is never, you know, out with black women. He's never photo with black women. As you guys all know, the other day he was in the club with some pretty girl. I don't know. She's Latina, biracial. I'm not sure. But I do know that she had her legs gapped open. You can see her damn panties, okay? Close your legs, ma'am. You're too old for the bullshit, okay? Anyhow, um, so basically he was in the club partying, having a good old funky time, and people started dragging him on the shade room, like, you know what, we never seen with black women, what is going on with Michael B. Jordan? So at that point, folks were dragging him, and then some more pictures surfaced earlier today of Michael B. Jordan supposedly having a, you know, all-white boat party, but when you see this picture, first of all, it looks like everybody on the damn boat might tip over. Second of all, everybody looks like a damn local. Why are people mad like he's having this huge extravagant yacht party in Italy and no black people were invited? So anyhow, you know, folks were mad. They were dragging him. Michael B. Jordan is now responding once again to the criticism of him not being seen with black women. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out these two videos. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Y'all, y'all, y'all wilding right now. Y'all are bugging. Teeing off on your boy, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, man, listen. Yes, I'm on vacation right now, okay? I'm traveling around. And, and newsflash, okay? All right? Yeah. It's not a lot of black women in Italy, okay? It's not. It's just not. I'm sorry. It's not, okay? Oh, bug it. 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 I read through the comments and shit. Y'all tearing your boy up. It's, it's, it's too much, man. Y'all doing too much, all right? Yeah, so actually I did say I find a funny one. It was a funny comment on there talking about the cookies and I don't know, some about white milk. No, I like milk, all right? I like chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. I like almond milk, strawberry milk. You know the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You know what I'm saying? The milk after that, I like that too. That's, pre that's pretty good, all right? I like milk, period. Y'all y'all just y'all just doing a lot. Y'all got to chill. <laughs> What's up there? Yeah, y'all, y'all just got, y'all gotta chill out, man. Just, just, just chill. All right, y'all gotta do a lot, man. That, that was can't my let the white girlfriend in Italy, though. That's the funny thing. That was definitely that was his girl. That was my white. <laughs> girl. Look, I think everybody too, but that's my white girlfriend. I love her. I love you, baby. Oh man. Anyway, y'all, I'm just saying, man. Y'all gotta start putting more positivity out there. All right. As a black man, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? In the sense of you gotta enrich your community and whatnot. All right, so you guys just heard from the ex-king of Wakanda. His reign did not last too long. <laughs> Anyhow, so you guys heard what he had to say. Let me go ahead and say this. I know I'm wearing green. I know my lips are green. But one thing about your girl, T, is I'm not green with envy, okay? Let Michael B. Jordan enjoy his milk of magnesium in peace, okay? Y'all stop trying to regulate what grown folks do. Last time I checked, Michael B. Jordan was a single grown man. You know, can it be disheartening? Can it be frustrating to some of y'all to constantly see black celebrity men out here with women of other races? I'm sure some of y'all really do get hurt about that. Like I've always told you guys, you are one person, okay? You can't be the girlfriend, the wife, or the damn side piece to every man out there, okay? You know, at the end of the day, people are going to date who they want to date. People are going to be attracted to who they're attracted to and you have no right to control what another adult does okay a consenting adult if michael b jordan wants to date only white women that is his business that is his choice i don't give a damn what he chooses to do has no bearing or effect on my life you know what i'm saying and i think at this point in time when people are having these cancel people parties because they're dating outside of their race or because they're not being seen with black men it starts to make black women look crazy you know what i'm saying we start to look you know just desperate and angry where i know a lot of black women do not care like i've told y'all before stop caring about who these men are dating and live your damn best life okay you cannot regulate what somebody does with their penis just like they cannot regulate what you do with your cooch okay so in my personal opinion i don't care who michael b jordan chooses to date okay i enjoy him as an actor i like his movies and that's all i'm concerned with who he chooses to sleep with is his business but when i go to go watch a michael b jordan movie you better
better bring it, okay? Don't let that damn milk of magnesia drain your damn acting skills. That's all I'm concerned with. You know, and I just think it's really sad that we have so many people out here who feel the need to regulate who people date and who people kick it with and who people have relations with. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's nobody's business. And another thing I find very hypocritical, I'm sorry, ladies, you know me, I got to keep it real. I'm sure y'all will, you know, and be in the comment section cussing me out and whatever else, you know, feel free. Um, but... Wasn't it just this year that there was a show on Bravo where, you know, a bunch of black women went overseas to Italy to go look for, you know, dates and go look for husbands and boyfriends and all that stuff because supposedly there were no good black men in the States. Now, I think I watched maybe one or two episodes and it was just a sad bunch of women, okay, including Miss Neely. She was one of the women there. And I thought it was just really sad and desperate how women left America to go to Italy. Queens, we are beautiful and we should be going where we're celebrated. Buongiorno! You know, so this show was watched by a lot of women. I saw some women giving the show praises. So it's funny that when, you know, black women are encouraged to date outside of their race, people clap, people cheer, people are happy. But then when a black man does the same thing, it's an issue. Me personally, I don't care, okay? I don't care who you choose to date, who you choose to be with. I don't care if you're a black woman and you want to date outside your race. If you're a black man, you want to date outside your race. That's your business. Would it be great for us as black people to only date each other? That'd be great. You know what I'm saying? So we can raise strong black families. But again, don't sit here and not Michael B. Jordan when some of your favorite conscious leaders are not with black women. Like, let's keep it real, okay? Some of these guys that y'all sit here and idolize and praise and worship, they're not dating black women either. They have biracial women on their arm or women who are racially ambiguous and you can't tell what the hell they are but y'all sit there and y'all don't call them out so leave these damn Hollywood actors alone okay if they want to be seen with Italian models and you know Italian folks and you know whatever side chicks racially ambiguous chicks that's their business you know what I'm saying at the end of the day everybody's grown and you cannot regulate who people choose to be with who they choose to sleep with and everything else so that is my opinion on the situation Michael B. Jordan I'm gonna need you to stop addressing the foolishness because at this point in time you're starting to look crazy because you keep damn addressing it you know what I'm saying why are you addressing these fucking faceless people in the shade room and then on top of that I'm gonna need you to learn how to record a live stream sir does your phone not flip the correct way I'm more mad at the way he was recording that live stream sideways than him being on that little ass tugboat with all them white people okay <laughs> I'm more upset at the damn live stream I need you to turn your phone around you know what I'm saying flip that shit the opposite way so we can watch it how normal people record their live streams okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation honey once again concerning Michael B. Jordan once again speaking up about the internet dragging him for you know being out there in Italy and living his best life so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.